Welcome to a special episode of Here and There. I'm your host, Whitney Long. On today's program, we'll be speaking with local organizations and people who have ways to help you receive assistance in this time of need, keep your children educated, and keep yourself healthy while practicing safe social distancing. So stay with us. Here and There starts now. You've arrived at your destination. Welcome back. Today we are here with Robin Dyer from the Burn Studio in Conway, Arkansas. And Robin's going to share some really important tips for all of us about staying healthy and active while we are remaining in quarantine. So Robin, thanks so much for being with us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. It's an honor. Yes, well, so um, we know that uh, obviously you are all about exercise, mental health, physical health, and um, we all need that more than ever right now. So go ahead and just tell us what we need to be doing to stay healthy mentally and physically during this time. Well, the first thing you need to be doing is moving, period. So don't over don't overthink that. You know, all movement counts. And so, you know, when you start moving, whether it's going outside and walking, um, even just just anything, walk, walk up down your driveway. When you start to move, everything becomes lighter. You know, you, you, when you start to focus on a movement, it within minutes, you know, everything kind of lifts and lightens. And that's the key: is just start moving, start just walking down the street, like take a walk and everything up here and that's that's the key right now is we need to be moving it's not necessarily about fitness and having a bikini body or anything like that it's about surviving such a dark and uncertain time and mentally you know we're being forced to be in our homes or we can't interact uh, with people like we used to, and we don't know how long that's going to last. And so the first thing that's going to start to break down is this, Mm -hmm. and it's already happening because we're seeing it. And um, the one thing I know that's saving me from such a dark time is movement. Um, And if that were taken from me completely, I, you know, so it's, if we have to move, just don't ever think it, just move, just go take a walk. Mm Mm-hmm. And so, I mean, how often do we need to be doing this each day? And what are some, I mean, moving, but if you really are trying to maybe set a goal while you're at home, I know yeah. that's something that always helps me is setting a goal, like a week, yeah. one week goal or two week goal, or, you know, having something that I can say, okay, I wasn't just at home working from home or being stagnant that like, I actually uh, grew from this and was able to develop something in my life that I didn't have before. I've actually, um, from our own members, have the feedback that I've been getting from them, just having the online interaction now to try to keep them moving and engaged, which is our goal. I've heard several people mention that they feel like they're going to come out of this even fitter Mm -hmm. because they, they have, you know, you're at home. So with that said, you know, making yourself accountable. So if you have, you know, goal, I think moving daily now, not like, crazy movement daily like you don't need to be doing like your hardest workouts every day but some days could be something like a light walk and then other days could be you maybe you have energy but plan it still put it on your calendar the more normal that you can bring to your day like you had before um so if you normally worked out early in the morning or you maybe your goal is to start working out early in the morning um you know have that plan have a goal have it set but the accountability with other people. So if you, if you can have a group of people that you can hold yourself accountable to in some way, whether it's through, there's tons of online free resources for fitness. Um, we've developed a Conway community fitness page that Emily, one of my instructors, it's taken fire, um, where we've gotten instructors around the state and around the city to like give free movement to people. So that is on Facebook and it's very accessible. Anybody there's videos posted daily of exercises, but if you're blessed to be able to have, you know, a place that you can pay for and go, um, whether you're accountable to that instructor or that facility, but friends, like if you could your coworker say, Hey, let's 
all text each other and we're going to do this workout at mm-hmm. noon today. And that helps. The, having that connection of a tribe will help you set the, set the goal to yeah. move. But Absolutely. And you've got a great community online right now, community presence and encouraging each other to, to stay fit and stay motivated. And um, that's great. So we're really thankful for you for doing that and uh, oh. encouraging our community to stay active mentally and physically. Well, this community, I'll say I've, I've always loved being here. Um, but over the last 15 days, the amount of support and generosity and kindness that I've seen not only toward me from mem- my members and other, but other owners, uh, other business owners, but just in general, like everybody is literally trying to come together to just say, let's get through this. Mm-hmm. And Conway has my heart. I'll mm-hmm. never leave. Um, I love it now more than ever. So anything I can do, you know, obviously we want to keep our doors open. We have people that depend on us to live, you know, but anything that I can give to help people continue to move, that's what we want to do. Cause that's our purpose mm-hmm. as instructors. And when we closed, we kind of felt like that was taken. And so we, we're just coming together as a team to try to bring movement to help people however we can. But, um, but yeah, just, just move. Anything counts. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate You're it. You're welcome. <laughs> We here at Brooks Fine Jewelry are celebrating 43 years in the business, 25 years here in Conway. We were primarily in this business as a manufacturer. Allow us to fix your product and remove the middleman. We'd be more than happy to wait on you and service you here at Brooks Fine Jewelry. If they've told you it can't be done, please bring it to us and allow us to give our opinion on it. I love talking to my customers and I'm always available for those that need me. Brooks Fine Jewelry, your jewelry makers in downtown Conway. Come see us at Brooks Fine Jewelry. Welcome, Welcome back, back. and uh, yeah, Tina, thanks Tina, so much for being with us today. today. I'm uh, getting ready to interview Tina McCord, who created Zuni Learning Tree website, and um, this is an incredible website for parents and kids, teenagers who are school age to stay plugged in with their academics while uh, practicing safe social distancing. So um, Tina, we're excited to learn about uh, the Zuni Learning Tree website and uh, get to see your whole tour of it. So tell us a little bit about how Zuni can help um, parents and teachers and kids while they're at home. Super. Thank you so much, Whitney. So we're excited. Um, Zuni, what we do, one of the features we have is we go out to the internet and we find all of the great free open educational resources and we put them in one location. So teachers nor parents have to spend hours searching the internet. They can just get on Zuni and they can go to math and they'll find financial literacy games, games for fractions, songs, videos, all types of tools. We really want to empower our parents. We've known for a long time that we need to get resources in the hands of our parents. This just really makes it, you know, our situation now makes it very um, a high priority. So we're excited to be able to give access to our parents and our families. And we also have the teacher version because teachers are looking for resources too. And so our goal is to just make their lives easier, let them feel like they have an assistant, we're here to support them, and um, just keep the learning moving forward. Just because school slows down doesn't mean our engagement with great learning activities has to slow down. That's right. Well, um, we're excited about seeing the tour of the website. So um, just, you know, we're going to launch that right now and uh, take a great tour. Okay, so let's jump in and take a look at the kids and family view. Right here says, I'm a great kid, so the moment they log in, they hear something positive, wonderful about themselves, so that might make them think. And then once you pop into Zuni, you could start off every morning, every day, before you dive deep into your lessons. And hey, let's look at the joke and the quote of the day. Again, let's just get that mind really open with good, positive mojo. When your district or school has it, they could actually have widgets that might come in here and have some brain builders for math vocabulary of the week or spelling words, something like that totally customizable to add additional cool brain builders. Then when we come back over, we're going to be able to jump into cool stuff. Cool stuff is going to have like the wonder of the day, signs for kids, kids news. Um, If you have local sponsors, they might have their sponsors widgets right here, but you can pop in and you'll have kids news, science. And let me show you Wonderopolis. Wonder is created by the National Center for Family Learning. And so families, you want to really listen to this every morning. You can just open it up and it will 
What is busking? I've never heard of it. This is what I love. You will learn about great things along with your kids. So we encourage you to um, either read it together or just have it read to you. That's one of the great things about Wonderopolis. When you click on it, you'll have an option for it to read to you under, by just clicking and listen. Or you can scroll down and you'll actually be able to read it together, learn great new vocabulary, just all kinds of great tools within Wonderopolis. There's extension activities. So right off the bat, you've started your day in this beautiful way. A joke of the day, a quote of the day, Brain Builder, Wonderopolis. Maybe check out Kids News, some Microsoft coding. And again, if your district or school has it, they can post things out for like the audio ebook of the week. Some cool stuff like that. So it's totally flexible as well as you just jump right in and you're going to have, it's going to come preloaded with your Kids News, Science for Kids, Wonderopolis. And so you're going to have great opportunities every day to just enjoy the love of learning as a family. If we pop over here, here's where you're going to find access to those thousands of resources that we talked about. So we talked about coding. If you click on coding, now your kiddo can show you what coding is. And if they're not sure, they're actually going to be exposed and be able to find out. They'll have some Be Inspired videos of some kids who've done some amazing things with coding and help empower them to see how they can. And they can pop in and here are all these great activities for coding. So I can rate and review them. I can share back with my parent if they sign me up about what I thought about that particular resource. Or again, when the school district has it, they can communicate back and forth with teachers, tell them what they think about it. These activities will have videos, and they're pretty self-explanatory to be able to figure out how to just get started with coding. So again, wonderful opportunity, not only enrichment, but also inspiring them for the skills of the future and how important coding is, gonna, is, is in our future. So there are a bunch more resources for you to dive in and explore. You can see that you're going to be um, busy keeping up with the love of learning for a long time inside the platform. And notice you see over here like my school, my district, my state. So this is when your school or district has it. They actually, there are resources in here as well. So you parents, you'd have one place to go and your kids would have one place to go. They can link to Google Classroom, Google Drive. Um, and also if you do other learning management systems like Canvas or Schoology or something like that, I'll link those in here as well. So it's just quick, quick and easy, and I can just click on it and see the resources I have from my school. I can rate and review them, which is something we've never had before, right? We can have input back from our kids about what do they think about these tools we're putting in front of them. And that's really important for them to have some student voice. Well, another one of the coolest things that you'll have is this Hello From. So this is the communication quarter. And um, again, if a district or school does have it, your teachers can have one place to put their messages. Wouldn't you just love that? Like I get Class Dojo, Remind 101, emails, printables. If I had everything in one place, that would be easy for me to help keep up as a parent. And for our parents in bilingual homes, they translate. So pretty powerful tool. Let me pop in and show you the teacher's platform really quick. And then you'll have a great big overview. So teachers and parents, this is the same for both of you. Um, if you click over here, parents will have an option to add their kids. It will say add your children. You click on it, you'll have a matter of about four steps. And you'll have the usernames and passwords for the kids in your family. And for teachers and parents, if you want to find some content, you come up to grade three. And it's like, say if I wanted to find something for adjectives, I could click literacy and adjectives. And now in three clicks, instead of spending three hours searching the internet, I'm going to have a plethora of resources at my fingertips. So we hope that you enjoy Zuni. We see, hopefully you'll see how it connects fluidly between educator or parent and kids. And that it's really the tool that can bring everyone together and keep the everyone to be inspired to dream, learn, grow, and do together. And even though we're in an awkward time about accessing um, education, at least you can continue to access great educational resources. So we hope this helps you in some sort of way, and we look forward to um, hearing back from you. And you can always chat with us with that chat widget. It'll be in your right corner. Uh, just um, let us know your thoughts and anything else we can do for you. All right. All right. Um, well, that, that is, is such a great, great website. website. Uh, I'm really I'm excited, excited about the teachers, children, parents getting involved with it. It's so fun with the jokes and the interactive games. Um, tell us, is it available for schools to use or uh, have you seen an uptick in it in use since uh, we've been practicing our safe social distancing? Thanks. Yes, we have. We have a lot of users coming on every day, both parents and teachers. So we launched, in order to support teachers and our parents, we launched an access free. So they can just go and sign up and get started. We just want to put these resources at the fingertips. We do have an increase in districts reaching out to us as well, so they can have their own custody um, platform for their district as well. So we are working both directions and helping um, just to support continuing this, um, you know, helping support the growth of education during this time.
Yeah. That's awesome. Well, I think it's such a, a great opportunity for everyone to be involved in encouraging their kids to um, take advantage of their academics from home. So thank you so much for being with us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. Have a great day. I have the greatest job in the world. Very few people get the opportunity to be a part of your special moments. The favorite thing about what I do is the expression on that customer's face. We've made a lot of fantastic items over the years. I love what I do and I believe this is about as close as you're ever going to get to immortality. Every piece that walks out of this store is from the heart, from the soul. Nobody's better than my papa. Come see it. Brooks Fine Jewelry, your jewelry makers in downtown Conway. Welcome back, and uh, thank you, Ashley, for being with us today. Ashley Man Hernandez with Breathe Yoga today, and she's going to share with us how how yoga can help you at home during this time and uh, some ways you can get started and why it's such great exercise. So thanks so much for being with us today. We're excited to have you. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited to be here. So give us, you know, why is yoga such great exercise? I feel like there's a common misconception that yoga is like stretching or you got to have some incense or, you know, whatever, but sure. it's a great exercise and there's tons of different levels. So um, go into Absolutely. that today about why it's such great exercise and uh, for stress and your body and everything else. Okay, so yoga is really accessible to any person. Um, If you are limited with mobility, you can do it in a chair. Um, If you are an athlete, obviously you could do something that's more like power yoga or hot yoga. So it's really accessible to to everyone that may be interested in practicing um, for whatever reason, for whatever health benefit. And so just kind of taking it back to what yoga is to get a better understanding, the word yoga means to yoke or unite, so the mind and the body. And so if you think about, um, you know, connecting your mind to your physical body, you bring this sense of awareness to where you're holding tension in your body or where you're holding stress. Um, in your body. And then when you have that awareness, then you can cultivate that into something to relieve those things for your body, whether it's pain or, you know, tension from movement, or you had a stressful day at the computer and you're holding your your neck up and you need to alleviate some of that. So it's really accessible for all of those reasons. And then bringing that awareness in um, of what you're doing with your body, then you'll be more likely to carry that over into other facets of life as well. So you'll be more mindful about what you're putting in your body as far as food and water um, and how you react to situations. So yoga really kind of carries over more than the physical practice um, to a mental and awareness practice as well. That's awesome. So if somebody's wanting to get started with yoga and they've never done it before, what would you suggest them to do? Mm -hmm. Um, I would suggest starting with breathing because breathing uh, pranayama is the most important part of a yoga practice. And so breathing, you can do sitting in a chair, you can do it lying down. um, And it's really just about connecting your breath and expanding your breath. So often we take very short rounds of breath that are in our chest. And so that puts our body in a state of flight or fight. And if we can practice deep breathing, um, then we can expand our lungs and get more oxygen to our body. Um, And so that relieves stress. It releases toxins from the body. Um, It releases endorphins. It brings oxygen through the blood. So it does a lot of things for you. And that's just a very simple way of just maybe taking five deep breaths periodically through the day. If you want to move past that, just doing some gentle movement. Um, Breathe yoga is available um, or maybe just kind of finding a book or an online source to start with a beginner's practice where they teach basic movements, Um, standing poses and and breathing, some lunging, some sun salutations. There's really um, a plethora of resources out there if you want to start a yoga practice. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I think it's going to be great, obviously, during this time when we all need some stress relief. We're all stuck in our houses. Absolutely. What better time to, to really get your mind connected to your body and moving through that. So, yes. Well, thank sure. you so much for all of the information. Is there anything else that you think this would be good practice while you're at home that you can help you with this time? 
Absolutely. I think a yoga practice would be great to start at this time. And even if you have children, there's some resources out there as well for children to begin yoga. And it's not going to look the same as an adult practicing yoga. It's going to be fun and silly, but it would be a great, great time to connect with your family and get some gentle physical movement because it's gentle on the bones. There's no impact on your joints um, and it improves strength and flexibility. So um, I think it would be a great thing to do with as a family activity outside, inside. Um, it's unlimited, really. That's great. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. And we will tune into the uh, show and uh, keep our body moving. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Have a beautiful day. Thanks. You too. We here at Brooks Fine Jewelry are celebrating 43 years in the business, 25 years here in Conway. We were primarily in this business as a manufacturer. Allow us to fix your product and remove the middleman. We'd be more than happy to wait on you and service you here at Brooks Fine Jewelry. If they've told you it can't be done, please bring it to us and allow us to give our opinion on it. I love talking to my customers and I'm always available for those that need me. Brooks Fine Jewelry, your jewelry makers in downtown Conway. Come see us at Brooks Fine Jewelry. Hey everyone, welcome back to Here and There. I'm Ryan Tucker, the producer of the program. We had an issue with the recording of the interview you're about to see when we did it with Whitney. So I had to conduct that interview again. So that's why uh, she won't be on the air. But we'll be speaking with Jennifer Boyette of the United Way, who uh, has some very important information for people in the community about uh, the programs that United Way helps sponsor and how they're continuing to offer those services in the time that we're facing right now. So stay tuned and we hope you enjoy. Well, Jennifer, thank you so much for speaking with me today. And really, I want to start out by, uh, you know, for those that may not be familiar, uh, what does the United Way do? So the United Way of Central Arkansas serves four counties. Uh, we serve Faulkner County, Perry, Conway, and Van Buren County. And uh, the majority of what we do is providing resources to nonprofits in those areas. We call those our funded partners, our funded agencies. And those are uh, smaller nonprofits that uh, you all know and love, everything from the Bethlehem House to CAPCA to uh, the Senior Citizen Center uh, in each of those counties. And we provide funding uh, that are, are dollars that are raised by org our organization. We provide those dollars back to those nonprofits for their programs. And so uh, when people are passionate about or supporting these different uh, nonprofit organizations, when they give those dollars to the United Way, we're able to give it back to those nonprofits. And they use that to go get grants that multiplies those dollars that they get from us. Um, and so our nonprofits love it when they when donors give money to the United Way because they're getting those dollars and they're able to get that money back many times over through additional grants. So we are really helping. We're helping nonprofits in the community, which means we're helping people in the community. Yeah, it's almost like a force multiplier in that way with, That's with everything right. matching. Uh, That's right. So you also... Correct me if I'm wrong, but you also get a lot of folks that uh, they, the United Way is such a recognizable name, but uh, there are a lot of people maybe that I've heard in the past don't know where to turn. And so they come to you first so you can kind of point them in the right direction. Is that right? Right, right. Uh, because we work with so many different agencies in all these counties, we're able to be kind of a, a point where people can turn to to ask for referrals uh, so right now we have a lot of people coming to us because it's just such a challenging time with COVID. Um, people are out of work, their children are out of school, and uh, people are just struggling. And we understand that. And so they're needing help with things like their rent. Um, they're needing help with their utilities. They may need some food because their child typically eats uh, free and reduced lunches at school, and they don't know where to turn to get some, you know, some much needed food and supplies for their home. And so we're able to refer them to the agencies that we partner with where those individuals and those families can go to get support. Excellent. And really, I guess uh, along those lines, um, are, you, are you seeing a big uptick because of everything that's happening? We are. We are. The, the need is incredible. Um, you know, we are helping the people who typically struggle uh, but now we're seeing 
more people are struggling because they can't work because their children can't go to school. And that's, I think that's why it's important to know that the nonprofits are here. We're working every day. We are partnering together um, to meet the needs in our community. Let's talk a little bit about those nonprofits. You know, they are always very much hands-on with the community and and having to interact with members of society daily. Um, How have things changed for them in all this? Yeah, it it really has changed a lot. Um, You know, I volunteered at CAPCA for their uh, student market where they provide uh, meals for children uh, in, in in the school districts. Uh, they do those a few days a week, and um, the the day that my team and I got to go volunteer, uh, we that was a day that things changed, and we couldn't invite the children to come in and pick out their foods like they normally do, and so we had to bag those um, those uh, food supplies up, and we would put them out at the door so that way um, the the employees at Capco could give those to people as they drove by. Uh, so things are definitely changing. Everybody's working really hard to make sure that, that we have um, procedures in place to make sure that we stay safe, that our volunteers stay safe, and that the clients that we serve stay safe. Um, we definitely have a lot of need for, for things like cleaning supplies still. Um, I'm hearing um, people in need of toilet paper, of course. Um, uh, you know, the other day I heard that... Um, our our friends over at uh, the the Children's Advocacy Alliance uh, were dealing with some clients who didn't have toilet paper and they were cutting up strips of cloth to use instead. Um, So I went into my personal supply, got them some toilet paper and took it over to them because I just can't stand that. Um, They also need face masks right now. I know they put out a request the other day because they're still serving uh, clients, uh, abused children, uh, who come into the their organization and need support, and so they need face masks. Uh, so if there's anybody out there who's making face masks and wants to donate those, um, the Children's Advocacy Alliance is a great place to donate those. But we have needs with all of our nonprofits. The Senior Citizen Center, they're still delivering meals to senior citizens. They're still taking senior citizens to their doctor's appointments. Um, we've got the Bethlehem House still housing um folks who need shelter um, and serving meals. Um, We just have so much that's going on, so much that we're doing to try to support the community. And so we are grateful. All of our nonprofits are really grateful for the support that we get back from the community. I'm sure you guys are in need of donations if people have the means to do that. Um, What would be the best way for them to reach out if they wanted to help that way? Yeah, we're coming up on a a really critical time because we are, in fact, we're getting grant applications in right now from our nonprofits who are looking for funding for the next year from the United Way because that's a big part of what we do. Um, And so we need resources so that way we can give those to those nonprofits. Um, And so I would invite anybody who's interested in giving to the United Way to check our website at www.uwcark.org or to reach out to us. We're not uh, in the office every day right now. We're working from home a lot, uh, but we are checking our mail. So mail at uwcark.org. Uh, or our phone number, we're still checking voicemail. Um, and so if you'll leave us a message at uh, 327-5087, uh, we'll get back to you. But we could definitely use some support right now um, because what we're going to do is we're going to turn it right back around and give it to the nonprofits in the community who are providing some really essential help. Yeah, yeah. And it sounds like you need that support more than ever. Just we do. It's, it's just a rough time. But, you know, Jennifer, I, I want to thank you for speaking with us today and Absolutely. letting people know that the United Way and the other nonprofits that you support are there to help them in the community. Is there well, any is there anything you'd like to add? Yeah, well, I, I'm new to the United Way. Um, I just came back. I'm a Conway native. I I just can't tell you how proud I am to be leading this organization. I have an amazing board and we have the best donors. We have the most giving communities in the entire nation. I mean, the people of Conway, of Faulkner County, the people in 
Perry County and Conway County and Van Buren County are amazing. And I am so grateful for the support that we get and that we're able to in turn take that and give that back to the nonprofits who are doing the great, amazing work that they're doing. And so I just want to say thank you to everybody who's watching right now. Thank you for the support that you're giving. Uh, it really is making a difference. And that's wonderful to hear. Well, Jennifer, thank you so much for speaking with us today. And uh, we just wish you all the best of luck with your endeavors. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate the opportunity. You're welcome. Thanks so much for joining us. Please visit the Conway Corp website and Conway Corp's social media pages for the latest information from our company and to find information about other original programming available on Channel 5 and 585. I'm Whitney Long and hopefully soon we'll be seeing you again here and there. Thank you.